that when I think about gentleness, I think about the, the power that touch can have. Uh, not the strong arm of the law, not the, you know, the mighty grip of the powerful, but a gentle touch. Think about uh, Saturday. I was down here at a vigil for a young boy who was killed, seven years old, he was killed by a, a car that hit him in the street. And um, this family called on the community to have a vigil because the death of their son has gone unnoticed. It hadn't been reported in the newspaper. It hadn't been addressed by the police, really. Um, they, they hadn't received any kind of apology from the person who killed their son with his car. And, um, and there's this dear woman, Marcia Owen, who's been, who's been leading this vigil ministry for the past 25 years in Durham. And, um, and I was just amazed to be there with her, to, to watch her meet this family, some of them for the first time, and to, uh, to touch them, to, to gently touch them and to see the healing that can be real. Um, it, it reminded me of that story in the gospel where, um, where Jesus is going about proclaiming the kingdom, healing people, and uh, going through a town called Nain. In this, in this town, there's a funeral procession. There's another grieving mother whose, whose son is, is laid out there on the bier. They're carrying him dead through the town. And, uh, and the, the thing that fascinates me in that story is that the gospel says that, that Jesus touched the coffin. You know, it's, it's not one of those Pentecostal laying hands on, you know, uh, um, rise up sort of touches. It's, it's the sense I get from the story is that it's a touch that's as gentle as Marcia's touch with that grieving family. And in the gospel it says that the, the boy got up and walked. And, uh, and you know, the miracles in the gospel the miracles are always meant to point us to the message. The miracles are meant to drive home the point. Of course, God could always perform miracles, but God didn't then and God doesn't now always raise the dead. This young man that we prayed for and whose family we prayed for on Saturday is still dead. And, and yet the message is just as true as it was when Jesus raised that widow's son at Nain, that if we have the gentleness to touch, to touch people at their point of pain, to touch the death that can be so scary to, so, to, to us so many times, um, that that's where healing begins. That's where the kingdom breaks in, in the gentleness of that touch.